Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we have a service call for a split system water cooled refrigerator. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. Today we have a service call for this specific refrigerator here. This handles the dough. This is for a pizza station. So this is a water-cooled split system. This is our condensing unit. This one actually has a rib relay. And if you can see, the top light is lit. And that is indicating, I know from experience, that the thermostat is calling. So it looks like the thermostat is calling and this compressor is not running. Hold up, you hear that? Oh, that's another unit. That compressor sounds terrible. That's this one right here. Sounds better since I rocked it. Man, that was horrible. This one's, oh, look at that. Hold on a second. This one just short cycled. This one just short cycled. And this one's not operating. So it looks like we got two units down right now. All right, so what you guys just didn't catch is that I just noticed that this unit that we got a service call on just short cycled. We didn't get a service call on this one, but this one also just short cycled. Let's see if I can catch it. Right there, boom, on and off. So this one, we caught twice already. This one, we didn't catch on video, but I saw it short cycle as well. All right, put on my digital gauges. Well, right there, it started. Look at the head pressure, 350, and it shut down. So this is refrigerant 404A. And that is extremely hot. If you look at the left temperature at 119.4 degrees, that is actually our water outlet, I believe. So the outlet is 120 degrees and the inlet is 72. That is extremely, extremely hot. And the head pressure went up to 350 and shut down. Right now with this water cold setup, I think the head pressure should be about 200 or so. About 200 with a, like a 40 pound back pressure. Somewhere, we should be somewhere around there. And that temperature difference is a giveaway. Look how hot that is. So we're tripping on head pressure. I just saw this one trip as well. Woo, man, I just touched that. This thing is burning hot. I'm 90, about 98 degrees. So if this is hot, then we're well, we're well. It's like burning hot. You can't really hold this, hold on to this for too long. So these, these two got a head pressure problem. All right, so we got a garden hose on that hot side right there, and we got a bucket. Let's see if we can try to flush out the system. Right now, I have the power off. I have it unplugged. Right there was a pull switch, so power is off. Let's see what's going on with this water. We're not moving water. So this is a water-cooled system, and we have high head pressure. Let's compare it to an air-cooled system. The way we gotta look at it is if we have high head pressure for an air-cooled system, then that means we're not moving air. This is a water-cooled system, meaning our condenser is cooled by water and not air. So that probably means that we're not moving water. On a system that worked previously in this building, I found a piece of the cooling tower inside the water piping. There's not a strainer to catch anything for this machine. So what I wanna try to do is try to flush out the system as there are garden hose connections on the water lines. All right, let's see. I'm going to close this side and have this one open. So hold it right there. I'm going to open this up. Got some pressure there. What I like to do is I'm gonna work the valves. Same thing with this. So now this one one's closed, now I'm gonna open this one. Got some dirt over there. Oh, look at that dark water. Something just came out of there. Now I'm gonna work this valve. It's 
see some dirty stuff coming out of there, so let's let's flush this out a bit. And it's leaking, oh man. Get my phone out of here. Alright, let's close this. Let's dump that water. Let's try to flush this out one more time. Let's give it a chance right now. We're dumping that water down the drain. And let's try to do the same thing and hopefully we can get this to go. There's some of the sediment left over. Let's try to do this one more time. I'm gonna have this fully open. Look at that. There's not that much pressure there. I'm working the valve. This opened up that one. All right, this valve, I worked on this a long time ago. I know there's an issue. See, it's leaking already. But we're gonna have to try to blow it out from this side as well. All right, so attaching another hose to get that inside there. I'm gonna have to try to open this. All right, I'm gonna open that one. This one is gonna be closed. So we already dumped from this side. Now we're gonna do the basically the same thing on this one. Let's dump it backwards now. Something's coming out of there. Something's coming out of there. Hold up a second. Look at the color of that water. Something definitely came out of there. I'm gonna open the water up again. It's looking like the temperature is about the same now. It should even out. But what we had 119 before, almost 120. So that one's reading 71.5 right now. If we follow the power line, it's up here. Let's climb up real quick and let's get the power back on. Press is started. Press is started. But watch our head pressure. Look, it's coming. It's not that it's coming down, but it's not going past three. It's not going to 350 and shutting down. We're at about 200. Like I said, we should be at about 200. Back pressure should be about 40. But right now, this is a refrigerator. That box must be warm. So let's let's have it settle out. But it's staying on. So definitely, look, we're still staying at 210. And our back pressure is coming down as the as the box gets colder the back pressure is going to come down there was something in this water oh wow look at all the dirt that's still accumulated in this bucket these un these units need strainers that's what they need they need strainers none of the units here have strainers that is unbelievable Right there, like I was saying, we should have about a 200 head pressure. So we're at 195 now, and our back pressure is at 44.9, right? About getting close to 40, it's getting colder in the box. Then our inlet temperature is 67.7 degrees, and the outlet is 73, so we got a bit of a heat transfer there. Still less than 10 degrees though. We would like to see, ideally, 10 degrees heat difference. But regardless, look, 42 back pressure. I might be, need to adjust the water regulating valve to get the head pressure to where it needs to be according to the water temperature. So it's 67, so I would use like 70 degrees reference, right, for a water-cooled system. But that's looking good right now. Does this unit have a sight glass? Yes, it does all the way back there not sure if you guys can see it but that side glass is clear guys that side glass is clear 
191 head pressure, 40 back pressure. We don't no longer have that super hot water. Something got obstructed the water inside here. We had all that sediment. All that stuff right there is what clogged this condenser. Somewhere it got clogged and we just like back flushed it. And that's what gave us our water flow back. All right, if you guys can see, the LED light is no longer lit. The box has satisfied on a thermostat. All right, everyone, this one is good to go. The box reached temperature, and this is a tricky one, and it's just unfortunate. These units are in terrible condition, and we definitely need a strainer on this system. We're gonna go check out this system next and see what's going on, but the water outlet was extremely hot and it most likely has the same issue. So we're gonna flush out these lines and see what happens. But we're gonna wrap this one up here. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.